One of the most important parts of managing diabetes is checking blood glucose regularly. When we say checking blood glucose, we mean measuring blood glucose with a diabetes device like a glucometer or a continuous glucose monitor. Checking blood glucose is the only way we can tell if a child's diabetes care plan is working. It is important to check a child's blood glucose at least four times per day so we can see if their diabetes care routine needs to be adjusted. We recommend checking blood glucose at the following times. When the child wakes up, it's important for a child with diabetes to know their blood glucose level before starting their day. You wouldn't want to start a trip without a map. Before every meal, this will give you an opportunity to correct the child's blood glucose if it is too high or low. We recommend checking blood glucose about 15 minutes before you eat, if possible. Before the child goes to sleep, it's important to know your child's blood glucose before they go to sleep so they can have the most restful night possible. You can think of this nighttime check as making sure they're safe before engaging cruise control. Anytime you feel symptoms of a high or low blood glucose, if you don't feel well, it is always best to confirm your blood sugar level is safe before doing anything that might change it. T1D tip. Although there can be a lot of extra daily steps to care for children with diabetes, it's best to cut down on the number of times their daily life and activities are interrupted. Try to plan for blood glucose monitoring at natural transitions, like before and after outdoor play or after nap time. This helps make diabetes care a routine instead of turning it into an unpleasant chore that interrupts their preferred activities. Thanks, Rosalie. Checking blood glucose can be unpleasant for some kids, especially early on, but it's very important to do so. If you need help, please reach out to the diabetes care team for tips on how to minimize discomfort and help the child cope with routine blood glucose checks. In some cases, you may need to check the child's blood glucose more frequently, including possibly checking overnight. A child's blood glucose may respond differently in these situations and it's best to be prepared. Some of these situations include any time they've had a severe low during the day. We count any blood glucose less than 50 as a severe low. When the child delivers more insulin than usual just before bedtime, if you are making a correction to your child's blood glucose at bedtime, we highly recommend checking their blood glucose during the night to make sure it doesn't drop below safe levels. Two hours after eating a meal, when the carb count is not clear or you're not sure how the meal will affect the child's blood glucose. Whenever the child has been especially active during the day, if they are more active than normal on a particular day, their body could respond differently and cause the blood glucose to drop low. We recommend checking their blood glucose level at regular points throughout the day and checking at least once overnight on days with high activity to be sure it's still within a safe range. One of the best habits for diabetes health is keeping detailed logbooks of the child's diabetes data. The more information you can log, the better your diabetes care team will be able to help in future visits. When we mention diabetes data, we're generally talking about blood glucose results and insulin dose information. Diabetes data can also include things like carb counts and exercise information. These extra pieces of information can help us decide if there are any changes needed in the child's diabetes routine. The simplest way to keep a logbook is to write out the diabetes data on paper or in a journal. Michigan Medicine patients receive a five-day diabetes data log sheet when they are diagnosed in the hospital. The five-day and seven-day versions of these log sheets are available to print from our website. Carrying a log sheet or a logbook is a good way to remember to record diabetes data. Before eating or giving an insulin dose, simply write down the number of carbs the child plans to eat and the number of insulin units you plan to give in the column that shows the current time of day. If you'd prefer to have access to all of your child's diabetes data electronically, you could sign up for a diabetes data logging platform. 
A logging platform allows people with diabetes to record their diabetes data from all of their devices and share it with their diabetes care team. There are many different options for diabetes data logging platforms. In most cases, a person's diabetes devices will have a preferred platform for storing the data. This method also allows you to look at all your diabetes data in one place, so over time you can start to see patterns and make changes to your diabetes care routine. We have more information on signing up for diabetes data platform and sharing data with your care team in our patient data upload guide, also available on our website. We rely on measurements from diabetes devices like glucometers and continuous glucose monitors to check blood glucose levels and guide us in decision making. In the next videos, we will discuss these tools and how they can be used for your blood glucose monitoring routine.